Tootie's face is looking grim. It's because her brother's dim. Well, that's just plain rude. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Scallon here, and we're off for more Banjo-Kazooie. And in the last episode, with a little bit of struggle, as well as not uh, forgetting, well, trying to find that one mumbo token that was in a room that I only noticed by going to the first person, despite trying to check behind all the furniture in the master bedroom. Uh, yeah, we even got the uh, special mumbo token that uh, shares two IDs the episode prior, because we entered Mammoth's Adventure on that one, and we completed it 100%. Uh, but we didn't leave us a pumpkin, because I had to change as, ba as Bear and Bird to find that mumbo token, because that was evil. we got to be a bit more diligent. But yes, uh, since then, um, obviously new recording session, uh, the gate didn't regenerate for me, but then again, this is the Xbox Live version, so... Uh, it might regenerate if you reboot um, or load a save on the N64 version, so make sure that this gate is gone because we can't technically get any further if you noticed. If you check back from what we did to get into Mad Monster Mansion, we couldn't reach any of the alcoves. But there is this area that we haven't explored yet. Well, we have, but we can't get into the crypt because of a small little hole. But what if we were the size of that? Also, uh, these graves, they always do this. Uh, hello? There we are. Oh, wow, this guy's kicking my bottom. Keep rolling into him. There we are. I thought f thrusting into him with the beak would have made sense, but apparently not. Anyways, uh, actually, I could use the health now because that went tits up. Because, oh, touch my honey this time and you'll be sorry. I guess that was dialogue I missed because I never actually walked into him without actually breaking him. I want to do that, though. Because I kind of need the health. But the reason why I'm actually behind here before we go in is because there is a Brentilda that I forgot because I was too busy jumping onto the entrance to see if I could actually do it. Uh, should be at the bar in the back here somewhere. Where is she? Where is she? There she is! That is sneaky! That's why I missed her. Also, we can talk to her as a pumpkin, and we have one coming up as well, which I've already pointed out that we haven't talked to yet. So let's go get our clues quick. Did you know that Woodbags keeps a shrunken head in her pocket for luck? Ugh. That's probably adding to her rancid smell. I've also seen my sister cuddling a scary teddy bear in bed at night. I hope it's not Luke's teddy bear. She's really proud of her broomstick. It's a top-of-the-range Super Gutlifter Pro. The Gutlifter. Sounds like something that you use to work out, but apparently it's just to lift her fat ass. Well, yeah, we got to watch out for the for the for the um uh, tombstones. I was about to say stone heads. Then it's not entirely correct, but they stick out like a sore thumb. When I've got the skirt, when I'm thinner, it really makes me look like a winner. Let me go become a pumpkin and let's put her in her place. You know, the pumpkin is probably the form that gets the most use, because if you forget any windows like I did, you would have to transform. He okay, we can outrun them if we jump. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna be a squash that was gonna get squashed. Uh but yeah, um, but just because of the small round shape, this form is quite utilised, and yet all we can do is jump. It's just because it makes us tinier. And there we go, we can actually enter here, and... There's someone snoring in here. Also, uh, eggs, I do need these, I grabbed a few on the way in. Oh, there's a ghoul. The Mumbo! What's he doing just snoozing in here? Also, how did you get from here and there, like, from within Mon Mad Monster Mansion very quickly? I could not grab that egg for a second there. And again, I'm probably the same size as them. Uh, I hope you can revert me, because I kind of want to wonder wing that ghoul. For I am no fool. Who am I kidding? I'm a fool. I've been fooling around this entire Let's Play. As I am, being a derpy bird and silly bear. There you are, yeah. Ah, uh, nope. Uh, flip. Get out of here, you. I didn't mean to grab that. Uh, let's go smash some stuff. Uh, that was not a good aim. Uh, I guess we can't break these caskets. We'll try doing them all. Not having much luck here. But yeah, Mumbo just is just chilling out behind there. And hello, I see you. I almost forgot about you. 
Mumbo token behind him. Remember that we got 16 in Mare Monster Mansion instead of 15 because we got the one twice, as I already mentioned. Uh, because if I didn't do that, we would have about, we would have 9 out of 10 in Grunty's Lair. So we would be at, sitting at 24 right now. But obviously I'm sitting at 25 because I have the 16th one. So make sure you don't get confused with that. That we can smash, but not the others. Water level 1. Can we move onwards? We can! We can actually reach that rickety area. There's only one problem, though. We can't get out. Yeah, we can't break this broken door down, but we can break an, uh, a, well, I guess, decayed oak casket. I mean, this one is a little bit more weathered than the ones on the sides, but still, it's much bigger. You'd think that that would be a lot more sturdy. All right, Mumbo, looks like we're going to have to re-squash ourselves. And squeeze on out of the door. Again, most utilised. Pumpkin making Mumbo hungry. You get pot ready. Run away! He's gonna eat us! That's probably why he's following us. Rude. Maybe that's his holiday getaway or something. I mean, he is a shaman and he's also a skull head. So, <laughs> a skull man. Instead of a skull kid, get it? Yeah, those bees were not moving for a moment there. But we need to stay as a pumpkin for just a little bit longer. Plus, I don't really want to go into the level 2 transform again. What we're going to do is go along that very precarious path as a pumpkin. This is why I've been saving this until now. So I want to be really careful where I'm walking because it is dark. Thankfully, the glow of the lava does help a bit. But we just want to take our time. Uh, can I zoom the camera in a bit? I hope that's zooming it out. Actually, that might help because it's gone up a bit. It's giving me a slight overhead view. It might actually be worth. Oh yeah, this is helping massively. It's like that uh, cave in Jungle Japes where you have to play as Chunky. And it's like almost pitch black. There we are, we're clear! Now we can talk to Brent Tilda because we could see her from yonder. Revolting Gruntilda's bedroom has rotting fish hanging from the ceiling. Ooh. Oh, when Tootie is a big old lump, I have just the frock to hide her rump. You know, Grunty, there is a thing called working out. You could do some exercise. She also has a Veruca plant growing in a pot beside her bed. Filthy old bag. Is that even... Possible. I mean, I've had Verugas on my feet before. I don't know um, anyone else, and I don't mind sharing this because, wow, we do not get Verugas because that is painful. You gotta, like, dig them out. If that's what you're supposed to do. And you'd be sick if you saw her enormous spotty purple undies. Well, normally it's spotty pink undies as the generic thing, but looks like you're the one wearing the pink in this family. Uh, thank you for the details. Uh, was that all three of them? Holton Gruntilda's bedroom has rotting... Yeah, that was... Sorry, I miscounted. Also, she can actually uh, heal you up, um, just like Bottles would do after he teaches you a move once you get her free tips for the first time. But I was full health, so she didn't do that for me. I guess I didn't need to break that honey hive, but... What do you mean disconnected from Xbox Live? Okay, no word of a lie, my internet blipped and everyone got signed out of what they were doing, so it wasn't just me. Anyways, uh, being a bit derailed there, we found Cheeto again! Cheeto, Bear, and Bird have found once more. Another spell they get. If one more page I see you turn... Fan... Than Grunty? Okay, I could not read that for a second. Nasty witches so close. Coach, I shall tell. Enter red feathers on sandcastle floor in Treasure Trove Cove. Okay... Well, we want to be heading back there in order to do that. And in fact, um, considering I actually had to bring up this menu, actually, uh, I want to go to... There we are. Achievements. Uh, we are still missing one achievement in the game so far, and that is Chomp Chomp. They're red, and no less than 30 of them, the Chomping Nuff said. Remember when we went against uh, Mr. Vile? I had to think of his name for a second there, because almost every bad enemy has chomping in some way. I said Snacker, which is the shark, um, which I also called uh, Chomper or whatever. Now, Mr. Vile. 
in Bubble Gloop Swamp. Because we now have the shoes, we're going to go back there so we can earn that achievement. Otherwise, if you're playing the N64 version, just continue playing. But we're not going to do that for now. That's going to be uh, later on. So let's get back into the game here. Let's press home to get back in. So we got our Cheeto page, Red Feathers. So maybe like the, our eggs, it will double our capacity, which would be really helpful, considering we can only carry 50 at the moment. All right, now if I'm correct... Oh, I was trying to zoom out the camera, but it's kind of locked up. Grunty's legs, stomach fins, say goodbye to all those doubtful chins. Or double chins. We need to get back over there. And if we actually do try to leave this area, we will retransform. Or revert, shall I say, back into bear and bird. So I do want to be careful on the way out as well. I don't really want to be a roasted pumpkin. Well, considering it's lava, it'll probably be melted, but you know what I mean. Going a little bit fast here. Also went a little bit dark there, but I think I'm clear. There we go. Awesome source. Alright, so let's head on out. So we're not going to go back to uh, um, Trish Trove Cove or Bubble Loop Swamp for now. Mom Bomb Magic get weak. Magic run out. Okay, that sounded a little bit weird. Don't think that played correctly. Then again, with a remaster, when it comes to sound effects ripped straight from an old console that used MIDI, that can sometimes happen. Um, enough nitpicking, uh, let's move on, because we have raised the water level, so now we can actually get further than what we had before. Because if you remember when we were going through, we saw some alcoves higher up. And we just walk into a flooded area, apparently. Interesting. But it doesn't seem to be high enough for us to... I forget, it's the X button. Not high enough to get to any of these alcoves, and there's still that mumbo token and a uh, note door showing up. So we can't really do much in here, so we need to continue back on through to that rickety area that we saw. Which is where the uh, cutscene focused on, actually. Maybe it's our next world, because it kind of does stick out to the rest of the area. Hello there, Mr. Fish. Oh, 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 don't get me, you. Nope. There's eggs over there. I want them. There we are. We got out. All right. I'm almost at maxed out eggs, which is very nice. Um, We'll explore this area in just a moment. I want to actually... Uh, no, you know what? We'll explore this area for just a moment. Not too much. You'll see why. Where these stairs lead? Door? Nope. Can't bash that down. Got enemies on left and right. Got some boxes. One with a rareware logo on it. And there's a pot up there. Let's go do that. And let's see where this leads. He's a green one. Oh, he warps back over there. Back to the room that we didn't have to swim through. Literally where we just were. Well, we'll leave him for later. For now. Because we do need to go double back on ourselves, but that gives us a shortcut back over. So let's head down here for now. Back into the Mad Monster Mansion puzzle room. Because now that the water's risen, I might be able to actually reach that grating that I wanted to whack, but I couldn't hit it with eggs. Burgers, fries, and chips galore! I mean, if you lose all your weight, putting it back on is just kind of wasting the body you have literally worked this hard for to obtain, even though that is still easier than actually working out. <laughs> and even then, you would have to ruin someone else's life just to get another perfect bod. Why would you ruin it in that manner? So as you can see, we can actually reach this now. And nothing else in this room we actually need to do. Eggs wouldn't have done that anyway. A big barge didn't work either. We had to rat attack wrap it. Let's just do this to get up here quicker. I don't think we could slip. So where's this lead? To be fair, you don't actually need to do it this way. You can do it a different way. But I want to do it this way. And again, we're knocking down metal gratings, but we couldn't destroy, like, caskets and coffins. Oh, we actually found the next level. Or the way to open the next level. Didn't need any of those. Rusty Bucket Bay! That's a lot of puzzle pieces. It's like four away from being empty. That required a lot. I think it was 12. 
Ah, that was Rusty Bucket Bay. The most difficult level in Banjo-Kazooie. Not the most complicated, that's save for the next level. So, yeah, that's kind of spoopy. Where's this spit us out at? Up here. Just above, actually. Let's go into first person and have a little look around here. It's an alcove up there, but we cannot reach that. That feather is way too high. On the same level as the ding pot. But we're not going to go into... Okay, he roared, but he didn't come out. I was ready to attack him. That was a bit cheeky. So yeah, we don't need to do anything around here for now. We can go into the level, but of course we got that cheat code. So now that we know where the next level is, let's backtrack and let's hop into the Sandcastle in Treasure Trove Cove. What you want to do is that you want to just easily daisy chain ding pots. I think if we just drop right down here, we'll be right above... Yep, look at that. They're both in the exact same location. That is absolutely perfect. Kill the enemy first so he doesn't get in my way. No. Nope. You can cut that out. Oh, god damn it. What? He hit me when he was down. He basically cut me up. There we go! Bear and bird get 100 red feathers. 100 maximum now is. Oh my feathers, it makes me sick. Fly to me, your butt I'll kick. With that code typed in, and any other um, stop and swap codes that you might want to type in, because, you know, you got to find them. Off to Bubba Goop Swamp. Whoa, camera, why did you do a 360? Just trying to get the mumbo, and you're almost trying to kill me just doing that. That snafu aside, as I mentioned already, you do not need to do this if you're playing the N64 version. And even if you're playing this version instead, uh, you can do this later, but it's not the most opportune moment to do so. It's also very strange considering that, you know, the shoes are available in here, but there's no way to get in here as Bam and Bird. And we only know that Kazooie can use the, uh, the shoes. Apparently when you transformed, you have the properties of both Banjo and Kazooie, but not their abilities. Except for the fact that you can still wear shoes, although we're now on all fours and there's only one pair. I don't understand how this even works, but what we need to do is eat 30 of these to get a Xbox achievement. This is the only reason why I'm here. And it's a lot easier to do it now than later. Mr. Ball now has tougher challenge if Karini not scared. You must win next three games to win three extra lives. But each time Greeny loses, first of all, chomps on you for one life. Does it actually kill me, or does it just take a life away? To be fair, I do need all the lives that I need for Rusty Bucket Bay, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure I can just walk out, because if you walk out before he chomps you, you can get away with it. So, we're going to eat 30 and then get the hell out of Dodge. Err, Greeny brave, but Mr. Ball will soon chew Greeny's shorts. Right, so what we want to do is immediately go for the boot so we can go very quickly. There we go. Let's go! Oh, don't overshoot. There we go. I think you drift a little when you bite, so we want to be careful on doing that. Yeah, we do. We drift if we bite. Yeah, that's going to mess me up. The thing is, you don't. I don't think you have a time limit for the shoes, but you're intended to not use the shoes until, like, the later games, because I think they're only single use. Actually, I just realised we do have two pairs on right now. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is difficult, even with the boots. I'm only at 20, and I've got 20 seconds left. I need a big group. I need a big group! They're not spawning near me. This is bad. This is really bad. I need seven more. I don't need to beat him, I just need the amount. He rubber bands so freaking hard, my god. Give me that one! No! I was literally right there! That doesn't help me because now yellows are introduced. And Mr. Vol, keep prizes and two greedy wins all games. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm leaving. Does he get mad? No, he doesn't actually. He doesn't get mad that he didn't get to chomp you because you bailed. So it just acts like you never tried. We can get away with literal... Well, we can get away with him not murdering us. Is the better thing to say. Uh, 
Oh, grab the boots? What the heck? Oh my god, this is such a good spot. Give me that one. Oh, I just blocked him. I just pulled a hunter on you, my guy. Yeah, he speeds up like hardcore. Uh, there's, I was about to say, there's nothing on the field. What are we to do? Uh, again, there was nothing on the field. What the heck? Could you actually spawn some, please? That was right on top of me. Oh, I went the right way. There we are. We did it. I didn't actually think I was going to commentate that entire time. Can I leave before it times me out? Ah, oh, god damn it, it locked me in. Urgh, greedy won game, but Mr. Valno keeps prices until greedy wins all. Oh, the boots do regenerate. I... Mm, nah, I'm not going to play again. I could use the lives, but I'm not going to. And I'm not going to go back to Mumbo in order to transform again. I'm just going to try and leave, because that's the easy and quick way to do things. Also, I'm going the wrong way. I say I'm not going to see Mumbo again. I end up walking toward Mumbo. But we're done here. Mumbo magic, get weak. Magic ran out. Alright, so now we are Bear and Bird again. Now, before we go to Rusty Bucket Bay, I want to leave the lair. I'm leaving the lair because we can get an easy one up here. Now, if you have reloaded your save, you will be back down to three lives. So any lives that you picked up will regenerate, and any lives that you've been getting by collecting 100 notes. I mean, if you want to replay um, any of the easier levels to get 100 notes again, if you so wish, in the N64 version, you can once again get an extra life. But the problem is, with Rusty Bucket Bay, that is a pretty difficult level to beat. It's notoriously difficult. It's what everybody uh, says the most difficult level. Di uh, damage wise because that is why we're going around and picking up some extra lives back in mumbo's mountain we want to become a termite and go back to the top of the termite hill to get another easy one up nintendo switch save states would mitigate the need to be recollecting extra lives but then you could also just reload every time you die anyway so i guess it's a good thing that i remember to come back and grab the one up because it's been a while since i last recorded and edited the last episode but at least i can go grab that by not using the flight pad and since we're up here anyway, that was kind of perfect. So what we want to do... Wait, jump, come back. And there we are, crisis averted. And now we're ready for Rusty Bucket Bay. Let's go hop into the cauldron at the top. Would you believe I've already been recording for 45 minutes? There's going to be a lot of cuts gonna, uh, going on. But the reason why I wanted to show off those three particular extra lives, along with getting the achievement for getting 30 red chomps with Mr. Vile, is so that if you are playing the, Switch, the N64 version and you're not using save states on the Switch version, or any version at all when you haven't, like, you know, reload and you have reloaded your save, there's some easy one-ups in order to prepare for this level. Because this is where the difficulty takes a bit of a spike. Your favourite buddy that you've brung? Useless like a pile of dung. Speaking of dung, welcome to the filthy waters of Rusty Bucket Bay. No new meals to learn, we already have them all. We have six lives to our name. Didn't enter at full health, that's kind of bad. We can already see some stuff that we need to do. And a massive barge for us to explore. Now, this level is literally just what you can see. There's the docks surrounding this ship. But this level is evil, and you're going to see that when we... Uh, well, actually, I might as well hop into the water right now while it's safe, because we're not going to be able to avoid it, because the first thing that we're going to do is what, well, pretty much what everyone experienced in their childhoods, which ended up being the last thing they do. And if you're playing the N64 version with all these notes that are scattered literally everywhere, yeah, you're going to kick yourself. Regardless of the version, I'm going to be doing it first. For now, I'm going to hop into the water... My early water in you plunge, you'll lose air while in that gunge. Yeah, notice that our oxygen is already depleting, and yet we're on the surface. It's so bad, we can't stand the stench of it while we're in it. Once we get the water off of us, though, after a certain amount of time, we're able to breathe again. If you are submerged, however... 
Under the scum, you'll breathe your last. Cause air is used twice as fast. So, as you can see, well, for one thing, there's a dolphin suffer like, suffering over there. Uh, yeah, we lose air twice as fast underwater, and it goes down half as uh, of the normal speed while on the surface. You really need to stay out of the water in order for your oxygen to regenerate. It's that bad, and that is the main gimmick of this level, but it's not the hardest thing. That's to come. So, we're going to be ignoring pretty much everything on this ship. I will take this for health, though. I thought life rings are supposed to preserve life, not eat it. Gonna get suffocated by a life ring. What does this world become? There's another box with a rareware logo on it. We'll deal with that later. There's a Jinjo over there at the very end of the docks. I'll grab these since we're here, but not exactly the major thing. I'm not gonna go too off the rails on grabbing stuff as I went for both the uh, two tokens that share the same ID in um, Mad Monster Mansion. It's because I was getting overwhelmed with stuff and I was just grabbing it all as I went. And there was just a lot to do as we went. Uh, here, though, we're being quite concise. Now, in the N64 version, this is an easy. This is not as easy to notice, but maybe it's got something to do with texture differences in the HD remaster. Yeah, lighter ones will spawn teeth. Thankfully, if you approach them slowly, you can catch them out. Nothing affects them. Oh wait, sounds like he's just eating them. Yep, that just protects you. It can't damage him. He cancels and eats everything. Do not go for those ones and approach slowly. If they do not react, you can enter them. And this is the one we want to enter starting off. I swear, if you weren't following a walkthrough and you were playing the first time, this will probably be the last thing you'll do. There's an extra life right there. That will keep our stock going. Let's whack this switch. Slows the propellers down. And there's a jiggy there. We definitely want to go grab that. So how do we get into the main area? Because that glass looks like double glazing and it's too thick. It's not like the decrepit windows of Man Monster Mansion. Speaking of windows, actually. Uh, the windows of this barge also don't seem to be breakable. That's because they, well, look plastered on like textures. However, if I can find a couple. Because I do want to use one as an example on the way up. Uh, maybe here. These two look exactly the same. It might be on the other side, actually. Oh, God. He landed on me. Oh, sugar. Get out of it. Pop him. That didn't work out well. Oh, I saw your teeth just pop in. That's spooky. Actually, I think I might know the telltale reason now. Yeah, fake ones have... No, the real ones that you can't interact with have two dots on the top left uh, corner, shall I say. The ones that you can break have four dots. There you are, so we can enter here. So we'll clear this out quickly since I'm talking about this. Like I said, I'm not going to get derailed too much, but I do want to make mention of this because it is another thing that can catch people out. And if you're trying to get into the ship, this would be something that you may want to try and figure out because... How do you get into the room that we need to get into? If you didn't even know that you could hop into those things. Into those shafts. Oh, and uh, this is actually something I want to make mention. We've got a picture of Conker here. In the original N64 version, it was a female Conker. Or either that or it was Conker from the uh, Game Boy Color game. But they changed it to Conker, I guess, because, you know... Uh, the N64 game that was to be Conker's Bad Fur Day didn't come to be. And Conker's Bad Fur Day is what we got. So we get this version of Conker. At least I can talk about that. We want to smash down this door. I like how I have to keep redeciding my things on the fly when I already know what I want to do every episode. This game makes you do that. Trick him out. Punch him. Or peck him. Either or. Actually, do I need health? Oh, I don't need any more. Top down. We got more health if we need it here. I actually took full damage. I thought I... It was deeper than I thought. But there is a little alcove here. A little honey... Well, there we are. <laughs> uh, honeycomb in a honeycomb-shaped pipe. Can't break that grating, though. That's not a problem. We just drop down and make our way back in. And welcome to the engine room. This is why we built up our lives. And this is also why we're doing it now, especially if you're playing the N64 version. 
What's down below us is the bottom of the ship. It's not a bottomless pit, but it might as well be, because if we fall, we die instantly. Because, well, we're going to see it now. Okay, maybe there's just a lot of acid down there and we just go plop and die. Didn't mean to fall there, but uh, yeah, that can happen and you would lose all your notes in the N64 version. If that was the last thing you were doing, well, guess what? That's the only one-hit kill thing in this level. And not only that, you've got the water to contend with as well. Not happy fun times. Also, I just noticed the door is repaired, so that means uh, the window that I also shattered has been repaired. Fun. But that also means all the buttons are, re are unpressed. Remember that when you die or leave a level, basically everything in the level resets. Except for jiggy stuff. I will admit that my movement is not the finest, but now you know the troubles of this room. If we can at least get to the other side of the room, we can keep grabbing that one up to farm it to stay alive, and we will never go down. And one interesting note about the um, lives, actually. I have noticed in... My god, are you kidding me? No! Oh my god, what a salvage. About the lives. If you have Uber 9 and you keep grabbing extra lives, even though it doesn't show you, your lives do go above 9. Gonna rat attack rat pew while not moving, just for safety. Alright, so let's uh, get a lay of the land here. We've got these three propellers in the middle blocking this jiggy in four notes. They slow down after a certain amount of time, but after three propellers in your face, it will speed up again. That's the pattern, as I'll see here. One, two, three, and then it. Oh, okay, maybe four, and it will go again. There's a mumbo token there on this spinny thing. Kind of similar to the things that we see in Frantic Factory in Donkey Kong 64. Uh, they do slow down and eventually stop after a while, but it's not wise to get those uh, tokens right now. Yes, it stops, but you're probably going to slip off as soon as you grab them. And yes, I could spend lives on doing it. That's dumb. We're going to ignore them for now. In fact, we're going to ignore all the collectibles in this room. Maybe I should have ignored the uh, notes, but again, I'm probably going to go in that room in again anyway. So I will grab the notes just for the sake that I do actually keep them. Right, so this one sticks up. That's not exactly the best thing. Does it lock in any other direction? No. So we want to do this one first. This is also probably the most awkward one, but it does reward us with an extra life, which was right through that window that we saw. Again, double or maybe even triple glazing. We can't smash the door. Back up to six. That's helpful. That will keep us going. Let's give this a pound. There are propellers with a jiggy at the back of the ship underwater. That's how the ship is, I'm guessing, supposed to move. Don't know why I was going that way. I don't want to go that way. We need to stop those propellers completely in order to get that jiggy. Otherwise, we will be ripped to shreds and take damage and get knocked out. But remember that the water... Oh, oh God, that's moving! No! That's made me slip immediately? That was basically flat. Come on. I thought I could have hopped at least. Anyway, we're back here now. So, if they're moving even slightly, you can't stand on them. I thought you could probably stand on them, and, like, as I did, in order to do, like, a quick hop and glide the rest of the way, but... Nope, can't do that. You get punished. Maybe I should go for the jiggy. The camera would like to... There we are. That'll do. I might as well, because if we get this now, we don't have to keep hitting the switch in that room, I don't think because it just slows these propellers down. These other switches in here are for the outside ones. Let's go grab this. At least we have one jiggy now. And now we need to get back out of here. Oh god! Oh my, wow, okay. So they are deadly to the touch. Maybe they've been spinning for so long they're, like, hot to the touch. Perhaps. There we are. Made it through. Uh, I might want to grab those notes beforehand. I shouldn't really, but I'm gonna. I mean, this one's probably a lot easier to do because you can just run straight and jump it. But it probably moves also a lot faster. Yeah, it does. That's fine, though. Uh, we got the time. But 31 notes. A bit of a weird number, but remember we got those in the room. So it probably put us off a little bit. Probably would have had 27 otherwise. Let's get back across. 
Thankfully, it's a straight on route, and you know, the Xbox 360 controller is a lot less sensitive than the Xbox One and Xbox Series X and X controllers, so I have a little bit more of a fine movement. It's a bit stiffer. So now we have a timer once we hit all these buttons. Thankfully, these pipes lock and stop moving, which is perfect, but unfortunately, we don't really have the time to be worrying about the mumbo tokens. This one still moves, however, and so do the fans inside. So wait until this stops moving so we can go. Uh, we should tell and try to be a little bit faster because we need to get in and out those propellers with the jiggy. Otherwise, we've got to hit these three buttons again. And that means we've got to go through that death defying pit again. Again, Mumbo tokens stay with you, so if we did grab them, we wouldn't have to worry. I got him. Awesome source. There's the door. I couldn't find it for a moment there. Right, let's get Banjo uh, Kazooie back out for Talon Trotting. Let's head straight back to this side of the boat. Jump in, and we need to be quick. So dive. We've got 10 seconds left. Get in there. I went in the long way round, it's fine. I'm gonna hold B to try and grab the jiggy. I don't wanna be in here when the fans go on. Let's get out of here! Couple of seconds! Ah! Oh my god, so close! And we're at half oxygen. We need to get out. Barrel. Or the, the crate. Panic. Wooden thing that is a flotation device. We have done it. That is the hardest jiggy in Banjo Kazooie. Because of that one hit kill pit. That you can't deal with, and we haven't had a one-hit kill pit except for the lava room that leads to Mad Monster Mansion. And even then, that's a lot more safer because it's just one precarious path that's required. So, I mean, if you once again, you don't need to get every jiggy. I think you only need to get uh, four, uh, yeah, 96 out of 100. So, deal with that when you will. Also, TNT barrel here that's going to chase us and explode. You can egg him to explode him. But I was just really coming over here so I can get out of the water so I could, you know, be safe. Thing is, though, <laughs> even though I would like to leave it off there, this is basically our safe haven corner other than that, the bees and that uh, TNT. If you need to get out of the water, come to this side. Because even if you're in the water, you can jump out of there if you do a jump correctly. Like that. So if you're panicking, get onto a barrel, you can jump, or crate, excuse me, and you come over here and be safe. However, um, I think it's, there he is, can you see that? There's a Jinjo, just at the bottom of the screen there, through the grating. I think you get a slightly better angle than the uh, N64 version. Because it revolves more swimming, and it's a pain, and we're already on this side of the level, I'm going to grab you now. But the camera locks up, so it's not helpful. I think all that's in here is eggs. Ignore them. It's not worth it. Grab the Jinjo. Get the hell out of Dodge. And in our quote-unquote safe haven, with the same amount of oxygen used, mind you. Oh, come on. Get out of the water. Okay, it's not working. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. The water doesn't bob. At least I can still get out from this point. There we go. Alright. Crisis avoid. At least we got that Jinjo, so now we don't have to come back into this corner unless we need health. Let's talent trot, get over here. Can we smash this? We can't smash it while we're talent trotting, so probably not. So, this is the start of Rusty Bucket Bay. I would leave it off there, despite the fact that we keep seeing that um, poor dolphin struggling. Don't knock me over the side, you cheeky life ring comboing me. I want to get back into the engine room and grab those two mumbo tokens, and then we never have to enter that room ever again. Whoa, that was a camera angle. That was amazing. I was just trying to rotate the camera before, you know, camera returned to this room. But by doing so, it made that amazing camera pan. That was amazing. I, you know, I love camera pans like that. It's like in um, Majora's Mask when you target something on horseback. So there's that one. There we are. So now I can safely, well... Safely is a relative term. I need to actually get out of this room to be safe, which I will be doing. If I die, it's on camera. I'm not going to risk it. Considering I actually went for the tokens, I mean, you wouldn't be able to get both tokens. What the heck? I. Well, I'm an idiot. 